Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays, where I teach you how to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm Dr. Julio, and today I want to help you love the dentist. Yep, you heard me right, love the dentist. No, I'm not crazy, I know, dental phobia is very common. I hear it all the time. Patients come into the office nervous, sweating, and some even hyperventilating. It's crazy. People get all worked up before they even walk in the door. Unfortunately, these same people have a very good reason to be afraid of the dentist. Almost all of them have had a, some unpleasant dental experience at some point in their life. From that moment on, they have a hard time confronting the dentist, any dentist, again. Well, I'm here to tell you not all dentists are created equal. We can change the past, but we can look towards a brighter future. If you are one of those dental phobic patients, listen further. The first step in getting over your dental phobia is recognizing that your traumatic experience was in the past and it was one event. Unfortunately, this event is not linked to the dental office, but to the circumstances surrounding that event on that day and in that moment. Step two is breathing. Breathing through your diaphragm tends to reduce stress and improve energy. Abdominal breathing, also known as diaphragmatic breathing, is a powerful way to decrease stress by activating relaxation centers in the brain. The abdominal expansion causes negative pressure to pull blood into the chest, improving the blood flow back to the heart. Step three is distraction. We learn this best from magicians who make distraction an art form. Today in the dental office, we have wonderful things to help distract you from what we are doing. Soft music, comfortable chairs, headphones, TVs, aromatherapy, lip balms, and warm blankets. Today, the dentist should be a pretty cozy place. At Biscayne Wellness Center, my staff and I have mastered the art of relaxation and go to great lengths to make your visit comfortable and enjoyable. If these distractions aren't enough for those with a stronger phobia, then laughing gas and anti-anxiety medications usually do the trick. Make your next dental visit pleasant and relaxing by putting your past behind you, breathing deeply, and finding a distraction to get you through. You'll be a happier person, have less anxiety, and your teeth will love you for it. For more tips in reducing your dental anxiety, you can email me or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. I'm Dr. Julio, and remember to turn your illness into wellness.